Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to create a zoom in and zoom out transition in After Effects. Not only this, I will also show you how you can save it in a proper way so that you can use it in future projects. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of images that I'm going to use in this example. So first let's begin by creating a new composition. So go to Comp, New Composition and let's call this Main. Width and Height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now first I'm going to quickly import the images that I'm going to use. So I'm going to scale this down. So these are only for the preview purpose. You can use whatever images or video you want. So let me just quickly drag this and I'm going to make a simple cut transition. Just like this. So now you can see that uh, we have a cut transition overhead and our image changes from this to this just like that. Now let's start creating our transition. So first I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. So go to layer new adjustment layer. And after that, I'm going to make this red color just so that I can see it clearly. And now we are going to apply some effects to this. But before that, let's go to the cut point, which is over here and select the adjustment layer. And I'm going to press Ctrl Shift D so that it will split the layer in two halves. So first we are going to apply some effects on this. So let's search for transform and just drag it onto this layer. And we are going to apply the same transform on the second layer as well. So now we have the transform effect applied on both of these layers. So first we are going to create a zoom in transition. So for that we are going to use the scale property. So first let me just align it over here. And I'm going to select this layer. So you can add a keyframe by pressing this stopwatch. And after that you can select the layer. Press U to reveal the keyframe. And now I'm going to move seven frames before this. So you can press page up key. So right here we can place our keyframe just like this. So in the beginning, I want this scale to be at 100. And at the end, I want this to be really high. So let's go to something like this. So you can see that we have a zoom in kind of animation. And I'm going to do the opposite thing on the second layer. First, let me just zoom in and I'm going to place this keyframe at the very end, just like this. And on the second layer, we are going to do the opposite thing. So first, I'm going to add a keyframe and then I'm going to move seven frames ahead. So in order to move forward, you can press page down key. So let's press it seven times. So now I'm going to select the layer, press U again. And over here, I'm going to add another keyframe just like this. So in the beginning, I want the scale to be low something like this so that it will give us a zoom in kind of effect just like this but you will notice that we have black edges over here so in order to fix that we are going to apply another effect called motion tile so just search for this and i'm going to apply it onto this layer only just place this before the transform effect so that it will start appearing and now i'm going to increase the output width and height so let's set this to 500 by 500 and you can check this mirror images option just like this so now if i play back here you can see that we have a simple zoom transition but it's not looking good so let's tweak it further so first i'm going to select the keyframes then you can press f9 or you can just simply right click keyframe assistant and then easy ease now let's go to the graph editor and i'm going to change the graph so if your graph looks different just make sure that you are in the edit speed graph and I'm going to change the graph to look something like this. So we want the animation to start really slow. And at the end, we want it to be at full speed, just like this. And on the second layer, I'm going to do the opposite thing. So F9 to easy ease them. And on this one, I want this to start at a really high speed and then simply slow is down just like that. So now if I play back here, you can see that we have a much better animation. Maybe we can move this keyframe one frame ahead just like this. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. Now let's add some other effects to enhance this more. 
so let's select the adjustment layer one and i'm going to apply effect called optics compensation so just search for it and you can just simply drag it onto this layer now let's animate this so first i'm going to move my timeline indicator to somewhere around here and first i'm going to add a keyframe so let's begin at zero and after that i'm going to move it to something like this and i'm going to change this value to 180 degree and just make sure that this option is checked reverse lens distortion so if i play back you can see that we have created this warp kind of effect in the beginning and we are going to do the same thing but in reverse on this one so in order to do this we are not going to use this optics composition so search for an effect called bulge and just simply drag it onto this layer and first we are going to increase its radius so let's set this to 1000 by 1000 both the horizontal and vertical radius and now we are going to animate the bulge height since we are doing a zoom out transition so first I'm going to change this value to something like this and also make sure that this option is checked let's move it somewhere around here and in case you are able to see the gaps again you can fill them by increasing the output width and height so let's increase it up to 600 so now you can see that it has fixed the black gaps and now we are going to animate this bulge height so let's add a keyframe at negative 1.1 and again i'm going to move the indicator to somewhere around here and i'm going to change this value to zero so now if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation but we have to tweak this further so let's select this press u on the keyboard and let's easy ease these keyframes let's press f9 and now you can go in the graph and we are going to make it something like this now transition is looking much better now if you want to enhance this mode then you can select the layers and enable the motion blur by simply clicking over here and if you are not able to see these options just simply click on this icon and after that make sure to enable the motion blur for the composition just like this so now you can see that we have created this zoom in transition just looking very nice now let me show you how you can save it so that you can use it in future projects. So first I'm going to select the layer and press U and I'm going to move to the very beginning keyframe and I'm going to trim the layer and let's select this one press U and let's move to the very end keyframe and again I'm going to trim the layer so you can hold down the alt key then press the right square bracket just like this. So now we have trimmed both the layers and i'm going to select both the layers then you can right click then click on pre-compose and i'm going to call this zoom in and make sure that this option is checked adjust the comp duration to the selected layer just click on ok so now we have created this zoom in composition and let's go inside this comp and first i'm going to move my timeline indicator to the intersection of these layer and now we are going to add a marker so that we can visualize where we have to place the footage so first make sure that none of the layer is selected then you can press the asterisk or star key on your keyboard so you can see that it has created a marker so you can just simply double click on this marker and under the comments you can type cut or whatever you want just click on ok so now if i go back here you can see that we have the composition but nothing has happened so first let's delete this and i'm going to re-import this just like this so now you can see that it indicators where we have to place the cut transition so all you have to do is just align this just like this so just make sure that this marker is placed exactly at the intersection so now if you play back you can see that nothing is happening because you have to enable the collapse transformation option so if you come over here you can see that we have this option so if you enable it now you can play back and you can see that we have added our transition so whenever you want to use this transition all you have to do is just simply import this comp and just align the cut marker with the intersection and after that you can enable the collapse transformation and it will start working also make sure that this option is checked so that it will enable the motion blur to give it a really nice look 
So now let's create the zoom out transition in the same way. So first I'm going to delete this and again I'm going to go to layer. Just make sure you are inside the comp. Layer new adjustment layer. And let me just change its color so that you can visualize it easily. And again I'm going to move to the cut point and just select the layer then press ctrl shift d to split the layer in two halves and again we are going to apply some effects to this so the first one is transform so just search for transform and apply it onto both the layers just like this so for zoom out we are going to again use the scale property so let's add a keyframe and let's press u and let's move this to the cut point so let me just zoom in so right now we have the keyframe over here and again we are going to move seven frames so let's move seven or eight frames just like this and we want to add a keyframe over here as well so let's move to this part and i'm going to move the keyframe to one frame ahead just to visualize it and on this one i'm going to lower down its scale so that we have a zoom out transition now again in order to fill the black area we are going to apply motion tiles so just search for it and drag it into the comp just make sure that it is above all the layers and again i'm going to change this to something like 500 by 500 and enable the mirror edges so now you can see that we have this kind of animation and let's move the keyframe to the very end just like this so if you want you can zoom out more so let's zoom out something like this and let's increase our motion tile parameter so now you can see we have created this kind of animation let's do the opposite animation on this one so since this is a zoom out so i'm going to add a scale keyframe then press u on the keyboard and let's move seven frames ahead so page down key seven or eight whatever you want and we are going to add a keyframe over here as well in the beginning we want this to be really scaled up so i'm going to scale it something like this so now if i play back here you can see that we have a zoom out transition let's tweak it more by selecting the keyframes then press f9 and again the same thing really slow in the beginning and really fast at the end and on this one we are going to do the opposite thing so really fast in the beginning and slow in the end so now if i play back here you can see that we have the zoom out transition so again in order to enhance this more we are going to apply the effects so on this one we are going to apply bulge on both the layers so just search for the effect and apply it onto the adjustment layer again let's select the horizontal and vertical radius to be 1000 by 1000 and click on pin all edges then we are going to animate the bulge height so let's add a keyframe and press u to see the keyframe and let's move it somewhere around here since it is a zoom out transition so in the beginning we want this to be at zero and let's move the keyframe to something like this and as the time pass we want this bulge to go in the other direction so i'm going to set this to negative 1 or maybe negative 1.5 it's completely up to you however you want so just play around with the values so yeah i think this is looking good so now i'm going to select the keyframes press f9 and let's tweak this more something like this yeah so i think this is looking good and we are going to do the opposite thing on this layer so again apply the bulge on this one as well and set the radius to be 1000 by 1000 and make sure that this option is checked let's add a keyframe for bulge height then press u to check your keyframe and now let's move to somewhere around here and i'm going to change this value to zero so in the beginning let's change this value to something like 1.5 and again select the keyframes then you can press f9 and let's change the curve to look something like this maybe let's increase it quite a bit so yeah i think this is looking fine so again let's select all the layers 
and let's select this one and this one and trim the both layer just like this you can hold on alt and right square bracket now let's select both the layers then right click recompose and on this one let's call this zoom out make sure that this option is checked just click on ok again let's go to the comp and over here make sure none of the layer is selected then press star or asterisk just double click on the marker and you can type cut over here as well just click on ok so now if i go back we have to delete this and i can import it once again so now you can see that we have the marker so all you have to do is just align the marker with the transition point and after that just enable the collapse transformation so now you can see that we have added the zoom out transition as well now the good thing about this if you want to combine multiple transition you can do that so let me just import the zoom in as well so again i'm going to place the cut on this point and enable the collapse transformation on this one as well so now you can trim the starting point from the zoom in transition and the end point from the zoom out transition so if i play back here you can see that now we have created a different kind of transition which is zooming out in the beginning and zooming in at the end and you can do the reverse thing as well so let's trim this one from the end and trim this one from the beginning so now if i play back here you can see that now we have created a different transition so you can see that how easy it is to create transition using this method so you can just create a bunch of these transitions and then you can mix match them just like this so in this way you can create some zoom in and zoom out transitions in after effects so the project files for this tutorial are available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because it will help me grow my channel and in return you will get exciting rewards so if you want to learn more things like this then make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.